What's up everyone? Bobby G again, back with the next installment of me going through the Season 1 of Walking Dead. And if you've been with me thus far, you'll know that we took care of a bit of a problem in the last episode, and things uh, kind of left on a bit of a depressing note. But we've made it back to the pharmacy now, and the other pressing matter that I can think of at the moment is... Uh, well, before we left, we had the same problem, to get this old man over here um, some pills out of the pharmacy. Um, we were having a tough time finding any keys before, um, so I don't know. Uh, our character even said, as the last episode ended, that that's the next order of business. So I suppose we just have to actually attempt to get the keys this time, but I'm not sure what will be different than last time. We'll just have to How's see. How's he doing? I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Alright, nothing relevant there, of course. We still have a fire hatchet, um, I notice in the inventory. That might be useful to bust down the door and we can forget about the keys. How you doing, Glenn? Glenn you know. Glenn's probably shook up here. Back to the motor in. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess. But that's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good, man. Good. You let her do it, you know. You said give her the gun. I know I did. Why the hell would you do that? <laughs> yeah, mercy. Mercy, man. I couldn't let her go on like that. We couldn't. You never know. You can't give up hope. I think it was over for her, Glenn. Yeah, that's the rough part. I talked for probably five minutes last episode thinking, like, maybe there's some miracle cure we could discover, but that whole time she's with us, every second she could attack. So, I don't know. Um, if this was real life, <laughs> I probably wouldn't have done that. I probably would have taken her along. But, you know, I think it probably would have come down to what it came down to anyway. I mean, because in real life, I certainly have no idea what could heal her. I'm just banking on the slight possibility we could have helped her because the game would have presented us with a magical cure. Um, so, you know, I think we've thought about it enough. I guess we'll just have to move on. And our buddy Glenn here will have to do the same. What's your story, Glenn? I deliver pizzas around here. I brought a couple to the Everts a few times. Sorry, I mean, the folks that own this place, just really good people. It sucks seeing this place like this. Isn't that the truth? Ah, probably the old man was a fan of pizza. What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. Try to get some rest. Yeah, our character, <laughs> Lee. Yeah, right. Probably shouldn't be inquiring into people's families since we've spent most of this game trying to conceal what's going on with ours. I guess we should probably talk to Carly here and see how she's doing after all that. Story of the century, huh? Story of the century here, huh? Yeah, and I've got shit for recording equipment. And from the looks of it, there isn't going to be any shortage of first-hand accounts. You do radio. That's right. Well, until some piece of shit politicians yank our funding, and I hit the blogosphere. I better get back to it. Yep. Thanks, by the way. Don't mention it. Just remember what I said. Yeah, I will. What did she say? To be honest, I don't remember. <laughs> See how our buddy how Doug's doing? doing. Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Oh, that's right. No, no. I forgot. I'm glad we talked to him, because I kind of forgot that that was even the possibility. So, alright. Well, I think we've been doing enough lollygagging. Uh, we're going to have to go into the office and probably chop down the door with our newly found axe. And that would certainly explain why we couldn't find any keys earlier. Um, because there aren't any, I guess. So, here we go. 
Get out of the way, Clementine. It's a metal door? Oh, come on. I really thought that was going to be the ticket. Yeah, I was worth a shot. Keys it is, I guess. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able <laughs> to find pills for Larry in there. I really thought... It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're going to help Larry. Oh, well now what? Now I'm out of ideas, because I really thought... that <laughs> the axe was going to be the ticket. Let's try one more time. Yeah, that was worth a shot. Keys it is, I guess. Well, why didn't you say that the first time, only the second and third time? I'm glad I didn't accidentally hurt myself uh, with the axe hitting the door. And, I'm going to keep looking around. You know, okay. having it slide off and hit my leg or something. I don't know. Now I'm actually a little stuck. Maybe we're forced to actually go outside with Doug now. So why don't we? I can't think of anything else we, we should be doing at this moment. Or not Doug. Yeah, Doug. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Somehow you're the gatekeeper to the outside, Let's have Doug. a look around. Okay. It's probably not the best idea, but we're going to do it anyway, because I think we're out of choices. Jesus. See, this is where it doesn't make total sense. Because even though there's a gate here, they'll know we're inside and try to bust down the gate. Somebody surely got it. He just eat. As far as I can tell, he's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Yeah, I would say so. Well, let's take a look around. One of the, one of the things I can hear very lightly is like a, an electric buzz. Is it the street light over there making that buzzing noise? Trapped walker. Talk to Doug. Yeah. Any idea where the pharmacy keys might be? We searched high and low inside before you guys got here. They weren't on the old couple we took out of the office. Are you okay? I'm fine. If the keys aren't in the drugstore, think they could be out of here? We now live in a world where getting up and walking away is an actual possibility, so... Right. How'd you end up here, Doug? How'd you end up here? I need I to learn everything I can. Local. He does tech stuff, and it just made sense. So you're local. Tech stuff, You probably huh? knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months, and I spend a lot of time... On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? This poor guy has all the all the bad stereotypes. I think even Carly said he lives in the basement. I just ended up I here. I just sort of ended up here. Oh, cool. You've got that little girl with you. Yeah, I'm just taking care of her. safe here. Well, I haven't been able to get through this gate so far. And the drugstore is safe enough, I think. Whoever owned it took good care of it. It's well stocked and it locks up well. What am I going to do with a remote control on Doug? And I'm also wondering if we should tell Doug to go back inside or not. Because... I don't really want him to get killed. Think you can do anything with this? Oh, yeah, that's right. He's the tech guy. Yeah, I used to fiddle around with stuff like that when I was a kid, but there's not much to do with it now. And I miss my robots. You're a strange guy, Doug. I know. Yeah, Doug, I think, uh... Well, we better get all the information we can. What's everyone like in there? Oh, well... Carly's pretty nice, you know. Yeah, but you'd yeah. say that Lily Dougie. doesn't take any crap. 
She's been running the show, keeping people on watch, things like that. And her dad... Yeah, that guy. He's kind of a dick. Pardon my French. I think you better go back inside. Let's head okay. back inside. Okay. Oh, we both have to go? No, I only wanted Doug to go back in. Well, hold on then. I want to go right back out with you, Doug. Let's go back. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Yeah. I do. Let's have a look around. Okay. I do, Dougie. Alright, so now there's a bunch of things here, obviously, that we have to try to at least gather some information about. There's a TV store. That's convenient. That place is full of TVs and electronics. Let's, uh, I wonder if we could point... You know, I bet what's gonna happen is, like, we'll point our re remote control and a bunch of TVs will turn on or something, and then all of these zombies are gonna rush over to the TV store, and then we can probably open this gate and go do something. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Yeah. Now, why... Look at the one trapped over there. Is that my brother, I bet? Oh, no. <laughs> it is. That's rough. Oh, shit. What? Do you know that guy? He could be a drugstore employee. So you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? I guess... I'm saying he might have the pharmacy keys. I guess that's what I'm saying, Doug. I don't know. Could be anybody, you know? They start rotting and get all chewed up and... Shut up, Doug. I don't know. Carla's the only one that knows anything about Look me. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. <laughs> well, I do have a photograph of him. Isn't that convenient? And Doug, you have seen the owners, so... That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. We just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah. Just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. I'm way ahead of you, Doug. I'm way ahead of you. I'm just kind of trying to gather as much info as I can before. A few seconds of searching, and we'll know if he has. We the pull keys. the trigger. Hardware store. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up, and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wanting Didn't work out so there. well for them, I guess, did it? That hardware store would be pretty handy, though, but there's no real option to do anything about it. Okay, well, I would be surprised if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that we're going to have to distract all these zombies by turning on the televisions in this store. So let's do it. Let's just do it. Nothing? Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? Yeah, come on, Doug. Help me out, man. It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. Mm -hmm. You can just do that? Well, it depends on I the memorized model. memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. You memorized all the codes. That's nerdy even for me. Well, chance. fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Yeah, that is so far-fetched. <laughs> that is so far-fetched. Why would you memorize all those codes and then it would work for every TV? Take notice. All those different codes are usually for different brands of TVs. But not enough. That barely makes sense. Not enough distraction? Oh, you gotta be joking. I really thought that that was gonna be... Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. Oh. 
Well, don't you just give give me a lot of hints. All right. Well, I guess. How do we bust it down, huh? How do we bust it down? Hey, there's a br <laughs> look. A brick. magical brick. You can't reach it, Doug. I can't reach that brick. Doug, grab this brick. Those things like TV. Those things like TV. Or at least the sound of it. If they were louder, we might be able to clear the street. Come on. I can't reach that brick. Alright, fine. It's a combination lock. I guess we're gonna have to open up the gate and try to get the brick. I mean, what else can we... I think we've pretty much exhausted all of our options here, so... Can we do anything with this remote control on the combination open lock? Sesame. That makes that no sense. That won't work. I was kidding. It's universal, but not that universal. I know, Doug. <laughs> Trying to keep a sense of humor, Lee. I like it. Doug, Let's see you here. Get this door open. We're gonna have to chop About it through. That. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. We're also party to some egregious fire code violations. So we're definitely trapped in here. <laughs> One more thing to try, ladies and gentlemen. Awesome. That's now pretty to risky. Those things. Carefully. That's pretty risky, because that in of itself probably made a lot of noise. And just the, they see this is like going against zombiness because just the fact that they see us here brick. should be enough for them to kind of want to get in here. So I guess we're going to have to open up the gate a little bit. And it's going to make more noise. Grab that brick, Doug. Come on. We're going to have to do all this quick because I don't want to take any chances here. I'll just hurl that brick into the window. See, this guy, they would so see me and go after me. Zombies are not a noise only kind of thing. Alright. I'll play along. Sounds the time. That makes no sense to me, but fine. And now, obviously, we have to run over to our brother, which is terrible, because we might have Be to careful. even kill him. Keep an eye out, will you? We might even have to kill him. All because he's a zombie now, and that would be the most difficult thing of all. And if I wasn't arrested, hey, bud. I could have maybe helped my family. I don't know what happened to Mom and Dad, but I know if you were there, you would have died for a while. So, yeah. Yeah, it's a good bet. I'm gonna assume that's what happened. I would assume that's what happened. Them yet? Give me a second. I'm gonna put my hand back on the mouse in case I need to do something quickly. Sorry, I wasn't there. I'm sorry, man. Yep. I'm sorry, I wasn't here. That's but what I just said. To take care of him Time to finish him off, I guess. Sorry, buddy. Just remember, Lee, he was a zombie. It's not actually your brother anymore. I'm uh, gonna have to do it one more time, I guess. A couple more times, I guess. Each time gets worse than the last. Imagine just, like, wailing on your brother like this. Oh. Well, that's certainly gotta be the end now. But what are you gonna do? You can't leave your brother as a zombie. You couldn't leave anyone you cared for as a zombie. There we go. Alright, get Holy back crap. inside now. Run! Whoa, now all of a sudden they see me. Even though I've been hanging outside for the last ten minutes. Fine. I lost my axe. That's great. Hmm. 
Man, that was close. <sighs> but we did it. It's all that matters. This poor guy, I think, is going through the most out of anybody here. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. All right. Let's try to get in here. What's the worst that could happen? I'm not an authorized employee, but I'm going in anyway. Alright, take it easy now. Oh, oh no. Shit. Oh, we that's gonna hurry. That's gonna have all the zombies come in here. Since noise is apparently what they like. Oh no. A little too well kept, that grocery store, or that drug store. Now is this going to somehow wake up every dead zombie in the whole town? What is this? Is this my... It's not my mom, is it? Looks a little young. Too young. Yeah, I didn't think so. Doc, come on, baby, time to go. I'm going to get the truck pulled up round back! Oh Do it gosh. fast! i got to get my dad out of here! I don't plan on dilly-dallying! We didn't I even get, get any pills. Into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, Man. when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. We couldn't find a, a, Lee, a wire take to, that to cut. In case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. Guys, that door's not locked anymore. Shit. You three, get on it. I'll get back as fast as I can. Now we magically have the axe again. Away from That's the nice. Window. All right, well now... What? Now I'm gonna have to magically think quickly and probably make a bad make decision. You should know that you think you're a great guy. Well, at least Doug thinks we I'm a great will guy. Make it through this. Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know. What? Close the door. Oh. I should know what? Quick clicking. Oh, you said I should know. <laughs> Too late. You're gonna have to wait for your Are compliment, you sure? Doug. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Okay then. Clementine, can you look for something to stick in between the hands? Something real strong, okay? Okay. What am I looking for? Can you find anything? Come on, Clementine. Go! <laughs> Get the window, Doug. Oh dear. Oh Q, hit Q! Uh, and now E! How many times can we keep this? The cane! Grab it! Put it in the door! Oh, well that's... That's that! No, Doug! Oh, dear. Kill that guy! What's going on here? Uh, slow-mo. This is how I need the whole game to be, in slow-mo. Come on, Doug. Save Doug or Carly. Oh dear. Oh dear. Save Doug or Carly. Uh. Oh, I took too long. Oh, what happened? Uh, what? Well, how did I die? <laughs> okay. Well, I guess now we have some time to think about who to save if we're probably going to get the chance again. Why does this game put you in such a terrible spot? I have to pick. God, see, Doug, nice guy, master technician, uh, he's an asset for sure, Carly, for some reason a really good shot even though she's like a reporter. Works in radio. Uh, I don't know. I guess I have to save Carly. But if Carly dies, then no one will know my secrets. And if no one knows my secrets... Well, see, I'm not hiding my secrets just because I'm evil. I'm hiding it so people don't 
mutiny in this drugstore and, and, you know, think I'm a, a murderer. <sighs> is there any white knight in me that wants to just save the girl? Of course there is. I think there's a little bit of that in everybody. See, Carly and Doug have both proven themselves useful. But Doug wasn't in the splash screen to this whole episode, and Carly was. <laughs> I think that was her anyway. Shoot. So here we are again. We have to make our choice to save either Doug or Carly. And unfortunately, I think we have to save Carly, even though if I was anybody in this game, I think I would be Doug. So I'm pretty much saying that I would be the one getting killed. But uh, I think Carly's just more useful. So here we go. For some reason, she's a good shot. Hopefully it's the right choice. Can we save Doug? Why isn't there enough time to do both? Oh my god. I'm sorry, Doug. Let's go! Uh, well, now what? We got Doug. They, they... You gotta move! Uh, don't fail Clementine again! Run away! Oh my god! This guy! This freaking guy! Why would he do that? I'm not letting somebody else get eaten today. I thought he was gonna kill me. Go! Especially a good friend. Oh, I'm glad I did whatever I did to help you. Oh my gosh. Why would that guy punch me? This whole thing is his fault. Oh my god. Meanwhile, inland, Atlanta's been downgraded temporarily to an eight, with attacks and rioting being reported in all... Now we're back at this motel for some reason. ...are currently advised to stay in their homes or move towards the cities of Charlotte, Atlanta, and oh, Orlando. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If citizens choose to stay in their homes, they are urged to be near their radios and await further instructions. Some poor Clementine certainly doesn't deserve to see all this. Oh, oh man, this is so awesome. Meanwhile, inland, Atlanta has been downgraded temporarily to an eight, with attacks and rioting being reported in all precincts. Citizens are currently advised to stay in their homes or move towards the And we had to off our own brother, but at least he was a zombie. And there's gunshots. Now what is this? The heck? <laughs> you just gonna pretend like, oh no, I didn't actually hear that. Never mind. Oh my goodness, folks. Well, I think I'm gonna call it an episode there. That was surely enough drama that. Well, I'm surprised we made it out of that grocery store. To be honest, I. This game put me in another difficult position where I. I it was either save Doug or save Carly, and even though Doug was a master technician. Carly's proven herself multiple times to be worthwhile. Um, so that's what we ended up choosing. I have no idea why that old man punched me. I mean, the whole reason that drugstore got infiltrated in the first place is because he couldn't keep his cool. Of course, the guy that can't keep his cool has a heart problem. So then we needed to find him pills. I grow through all this emotional trauma of offing my own zombie brother, risking our lives by going outside in the first place to even find these stupid keys. Then, when we're looking for these pills, the alarm sounds, which brings in all the zombies anyway. So... If it wasn't for this one guy, this entire situation would be a million times better. And, you know, the way I feel right now, if I have the chance to get rid of him in the future, I might at this point. He's the, pretty much responsible for why a lot of these things have gone the way they have, at least a small portion of them. And, you know, people make mistakes, but now he punched me in the face, which he tried to kill me, basically. He tried to keep me with the zombies and kill me. 
And for what? Because I, I threatened him that we wouldn't throw a young boy out into the street? So, I don't know what's going to happen there, ladies and gentlemen. But that guy is not on my good side, let me tell you. And I don't know why we thought it was a good idea to come back. And there he is, that jerk. I don't know why it is that we've come back to this hotel. Um, maybe because we were able to kill all the zombies here. So, I don't know. But here we are anyway. And I think we're going to have to check this new place out in the next episode. So, if you've been with me... So far, ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate it very much. This has been Bobby G. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.